Hello guys, Assalamu Alaikum. My name is Shiraz and welcome to another tutorial. Today we are going to create these supplement bottles. Uh, the model itself is simple and easier one, but the main focus of this tutorial will be on creating the structure on products with labels. Also, we won't be covering lighting and rendering in this tutorial. So let's get started. So open up your blender and delete all these. Press one on your keyboard and add a reference image. You guys can download this from my Instagram account. I'll put the link in description and don't forget to follow me. So align this reference image according to our 3D cursor. We are going to follow this red one. Shift A and add a cylinder. Scale it down. Scale it on X and Y axis. Select this reference image and move on X axis like this. Select this cylinder. Scale on X and Y axis like this. Okay. Go to Excavation mode and tap to edit mode. Select this lower edge and cheese C. Place it here. Um, let me open screen cast keys. Okay. Now select this upper edge and E2 extrude. Then E2 extrude again and scale it down. E2 extrude again, scale it down, E2 extrude and scale it down. GC, place it here and E2 extrude and scale it down a bit. E2 extrude, right click, scale it. Now we are going to make this lid and E2 extrude, then I2 insert and E2 extrude. Okay. Now we are going to add some lockers to make it according to our, our reference image. Select this edge to scale down this one. Add a loop cut here. Scale, sorry, scale it. Okay. Now I think we have to see this side. Select this edge and sorry, control R. And add a loop cut here, scale it a bit, okay. And control R, add a loop cut here too, and scale it a bit. Yeah, I think it's good. You can adjust this according to your need. I think I am going to leave this here, okay. Now control A and apply scale, select this lower edge and control B for bevel sorry control b for bevel and add some lockers um, i think this will look good okay now we are going to make this cap so shift a add a cylinder scale this down gc and scale it on x and y axis um tap edit mode select this lower edge G set similarly select this upper edge and G set okay control A and apply scale control B for bevel yeah I think it's good okay shift Z and scale it a bit according to our bottle yeah I think it's good okay control 2 for subdivision modifier slash and tap edit mode Control R, so we're gonna add some sharp edges. Three and face selection, insert. Okay, now select this bottle. Control 2, tap to edit mode, and similarly add two loop cuts, scale on z axis, and like this face and insert control r two lookers and scale on z axis control r two lookers and scale on z axis yeah i think this will look good okay um sorry share auto smooth similarly the cap shape auto smooth okay now we are going to make uh, materials and add labels so open up new window here make it material preview and shader editor 
select this bottle and add a new material there are many ways to achieve this texture but i am going to teach you guys a simple and easier one so add a color ramp node also the gradient texture and control t so you guys can see mapping at texture coordinate nodes um select this to this okay and select this to there okay let's arrange them and select this node and put it in base color okay i think i have to make some rotations so i'm going to change it on i think we have to go on minus yeah i think this will look good okay and select this black color select this eyedropper and this orange color make it a bit darker and value will be a little bit higher good yeah i think it's good and select this white color and place it somewhere here you have you guys have to uh, put some time on this one okay um change it to a little bit lower i think this will be look good okay select this cap and add a material select this eyedropper orange value will be a little bit higher and orange will be a darker color will be good um, like this okay roughness will be a little bit lower i think we have to make a bigger cap on the axis like this gc yeah i think it's good okay now we have to put labels so i made a png label you guys can make uh, it in photoshop or illustrator or whatever software you like but i made this one in illustrator so select this and drag and drop sorry delete from here and select this portal drag and drop here okay now i'm going to add a shader add shader and place it here and select this label and put it in shader okay now i'm going to uv wrap this so open uv editor and open this image okay tab to edit mode so select this face sorry this face then by pressing control select this one okay uh now i think we have to select this one too and this one and this one too okay similarly select this upper one by pressing control select this okay press a on your keyboard scale it a bit g5 sorry scale it and then g5 scale a bit down i think we have to select this lower one select this face okay why uh, i'm not going to select this face first uh, let's select and see okay select this one and then by pressing control select this okay now you guys can see the issue so control c to undo select this face sorry select this face and by pressing control select this one then by shift and this one too okay and press q on your keyboard and project from view scale it a bit sorry i think press a then scale it a bit and place it somewhere here scale down on y axis like this will be good i think let's see Control i for other collection and a scale this down okay Control i again i think it's good yeah i think it's good you guys can tweak this according to your need but i think it's pretty good for me let's yeah i think it's good okay uh, you guys can see uh, our model is looking so flat uh, 
uh, in front of these three this is because we didn't drag much uh, when we are doing bevel so you guys can uh, keep this in mind um, okay I think this is good hide this empty and press one shift a and add a empty which is cube scale on z axis sorry select all of them control p and parent it okay now i'm going to duplicate this select so right click on empty and select hierarchy shift d for duplicate and move on x axis shift d and then x axis okay now shader editor select this one okay now let me show you guys one thing okay uh, go to render settings ev2 cycle and gpu to compute um, strength will be zero okay make it render view okay so as you guys can see we have a glowing label which is not good so to resolve this issue I am going to duplicate this principal DSTF shift D for duplicate and place it uh, in between of this label and that add shader not okay so we can resolve this issue okay now you guys can see uh, we have a label but it's not glowing okay um, let's change the color of this one and duplicate the material and unhide this empty okay now select this orange and this dropper this purple color will be good i think we have to make it a bit darker like i think this will be good yeah i think it's good similarly the cap duplicate the material and select this purple make it a bit darker yeah i think it's good now select this one sorry i'm going to select this cube and move it on z-axis so we can see over that jar select this and now select this orange color eyedropper and red sorry duplicate this first then eyedropper and red color make it a bit darker and value will be a bit higher i think yeah i think it's good select this cap duplicate this and eyedropper yeah i think it's good value will be a little bit higher maybe good yeah i think it's good let's select this again and move it on c axis now i'm going to make this texture of our sporting cube so add a cube shift a and cube gc add a new material um eyedropper and select this orange material um make it a bit lighter i think something like this will be good and add a bevel modifier segments will be five and amount will be somewhere um, like this may be good yeah i think it's good share auto smooth now i'm going to make this noise texture and let me hide this now i'm going to make this texture this noisy texture so for that um let's unhide this cube for that i'm going to add a bump node and normal to normal then select this height drag and noise texture will be good and control t for mapping and texture coordinate okay i think it's good scale this according to your need um, scale it a bit more and lower the strength 0.1 will be good i think yeah i think it's good you guys can tweak the scale value according to your need but it's good for me i'm going to leave it here so i think that's it also i made a animation on this one if you guys want me to make a tutorial on this please leave a comment below if i receive 10 to 15 comments i will make a tutorial on this so that's it for today's tutorial i hope you guys gonna like it and see you in the next video allah Hafiz.